This is ridiculous. Heaven alone knows why I allowed you to inveigle me into this ludicrous position. Malcolm, it may seem ludicrous to you, but my whole future happiness is hanging in the balance. It was you, Bayleaf and Signo who got me stuck on this hook. The least I can expect is that one of you has helped me get off of it. Gotcha. What's he doing here? I'm George's confidence booster. I suppose you could describe me as a sort of moral jockstrap. The point is, Julia, uh, through no fault of his own, George is something of a fraud, an imposter. I'm not the man you think I am. No. For a start, he's not at all spiritual. He's almost entirely physical. And frankly, I don't think you'd approve of his sort of tastes. You're telling me he's gay? No, no, I'm not gay or, or married with a string of kids or anything like that. Look, what he's trying to say is, it wasn't him that sent you that poem. That was my idea. It wasn't him that serenaded you outside your house that night. That was another one of the chaps. The truth is, George can't sing a note. He knows nothing about Elizabethan poetry. He's certainly not an intellectual. But he is a chap with a certain rough code of honor. And he didn't want to date you under false pretenses. And what he wanted to say is, if you don't want to go out with him, now you know the truth about him, he will understand. No, I won't. George, you are an idiot. I knew all along. Really? I think it's very sweet of you to worry about it. Isn't it sweet of me, too? You're still here. Where are you going? My place. I was under the impression you lived with your parents. I do. They're on holiday in the Canary Islands. Look, you must have a chaperone. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Julia, do you honestly think I'm the type of bloke who's going to try and get you in bed on our first date? George, I've been banking on you being that sort of guy. And if you don't succeed in getting me into bed, I shall be utterly and quite suicidally disappointed.